So let's start our work here. Create a anime character right there. First, I'm checking here the reference box, and I will sketch with the lead pencil B. You can set the lead pencil B by uh, clicking the add brush in here. If you didn't see it in your brush box, and then go to the shirt and choose pencil here. The first one is the pencil B. Double clicking it, and it will download to your brush box. Then close it here. This one is my favorite because it looks closely to the pencil and check the layers in here, no more. Okay, opacity in here. And you will choose the brush color is something that dark for you, that easy to see. Because don't worry to use the light colors because later will you will use the opacity lower. Uh, so don't need to worry about this. Just pick the dark color or high side rotations in here like this. Some maybe they would prefer the blue like this. Yeah, depend on your choice. Just make sure that you can look clearly uh, what you are intend to drawing. And depend on the solutions. So some of the artists may have the sketch on their own. Maybe they will sketch with the head like this and start with the neck. Yep, and some maybe they will go with the rectangle and with the box like this. Yep, depends on the choice. And my solutions is I'm going with the stick figure because this is easy and and let you know about the movement of your character. So when you draw a stick figure to define the pose of your uh, character. You must remember that you have to make your character look a little bit leafly. So I always use the curve tone here like this, or um, maybe they will look like this. You can see that um, with the curve tone here, that will have your character look like they are moving. And why you have to have the stick figure first and not doing like this in the normal way? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you doing this? Because I'm thinking that first you must define the pose of your character that you intend to do, and you must know about what you will draw, and that you will have the. Direction and just go to the part in here. No need to struggling at the middle of your work. And here is the final words in here. You can see the pose that uh, he is standing with one hand in here is hiding because the shoulder is show is not showing up. And one it will be shown to the audience in here. And look closer to the face in here. They see. He has a scary face and look directly to the audience. So that is how we're thinking images about the character in our head. And now we will bring it to the real life with the stick figure to define the pose. You just need to draw a small stick figures in here first for the sketch to bring out the idea because maybe you will um, draw something is not right at first because this one is imaging right so first see the hands in here look directly is will going to be like this and the neck and the shoulder one is show up and one is not as will look like this yeah the diagonals in here will show you the perspective because the shoulder look like this with the horizontal in here that means you look at the front and when you uh, have the perspective you will go with the diagonal so with this one or this one depending on your choice maybe you will fix the diagonal later when you think this is better than the first one and now we go with the uh, light structures in here to define the movement of your character he's standing but he's like standing have a little bit more leafly, don't give the straight line. The straight line will make your character look slick, stiff. So, here, this he is standing, and the hip, 
here like this I will use the triangles in here to show the hips here and next is the leg when you standing like this the leg is not look straight like this yep they will have a little bit diagonal like this so with this one you will see that your character is look better that is my experiment when I doing my work from time to time and I drawing my character and I think and I found that they will look more flexible and look better when you use the leg with a diagonal line like this and here you are the feet one will be shown up not pointing but show up here like this and I think the shoulders in here is not right he maybe have the shoulder up like this yep and this one is not showing up you see the elbow and one's in here holding the sword right so is it kind of heavy so that's why the shoulder is dry you try to lift it up so the shoulder is going up a little bit and here the arms elbows and next is your hands with the triangle like this like this just use the stick figure to define the pose of your in your imaging bring it to the real life like this and you will have a rib okay so now you are done with the skate that let you have the whole look about your character how it's going to be and now you will bring this sketch to the real sketch and I will enlarge this one if you find this okay and you can use that you can enlarge this one by holding control and T or command and T to transform it and bring it larger then you will lower the opacity to look to make it look a little bit transparent and new layers in here now will be your character you will start with the circle the circle is when I sketching I always use three types of shape when I sketch first is circle and next is rectangle and next is triangle with this preset is really useful when you want to define the pose and make it look easier for you that when you starting the final sketch okay so I'm here because the head it will be going to be round so I will use the circle in here So you are done that your next sketch after you define the pose you will have a good look when you define your pose with this one from the stick figure with the set in here so now it look a little bit more complex now right so just think about this simply you will have the ribs your torso in here and now you will check if the anatomy is look great now the anatomy I'm not really strict about the anatomy because uh, everyone will have their styles so you just 
change the anatomy when you think this good maybe I want to have the long legs so I will increase the leg a little bit by moving it down here somebody they will just have the soft legs and that is why just depend on your style no need to stick to my uh, opinions in here and now you have a good sketch in here and you can define you have a look about the pose this will be a little bit similar to the final work now right